I'm First Alert 25 meteorologist Jordan Evans as we continue to track high pressure temperatures are staying in the triple digits once again this afternoon. 103 for Gatesville, 101 for Hamilton, Coppers Cove, 102 for Lampasas and San Saba with lows tonight in the hill country falling down into the low to mid 70s. Now for that I-35 corridor going to be very similar. 101 for Waco today, 100 for Marlin. 102 for Temple, 103 for Colleen, and 101 for Georgetown. As we take you over to I-45, we can expect upper 90s, maybe some triple digits for some spots like Fairfield and Buffalo. 98 for Centerville today, 99 in Madisonville and Grosbeck, and 98 in Mejia with lows again tonight falling down into the low to mid 70s. Brazos Valley, close to the triple digits for Bryan College Station, but we're going to hit them for Caldwell, Rockdale, Cameron, all the way up into Hearn too. So another scorcher is expected today here as we go into the rest of that forecast. So here's what those feels like temperatures are going to be just a tad hotter, especially to the east of I-35 where humidity is going to stay a little bit higher today. 105 for Hearn, feeling like 104 for Bryan College Station, Temple 105 too and Colleen actually. 103 in San Saba and 99 for Goldweight. So it feels like temperatures just maybe just a little bit warmer than what we saw for your forecast yesterday and that will continue through the weekend. Heat threats once again staying in that moderate to high category, especially dehydration with some of that dry air allowing the sweat to evaporate off your skin just a little bit more. So temperatures, we're going to maintain them in the triple digits throughout the weekend and into early next week, mostly sunny skies partly cloudy then for your Wednesday as some moisture starts to work its way back into our state and then we'll start us to see those storm chances hopefully by the end of next week.